Smoke generator started. Smoke screen set. Concentrate fire on the designated target. All stations requesting fire on the designated target. Torpedo to start. Enemy battleship sighted. Enemy battleship sunk. What's up guys, Admiral Numpire here. Welcome back to World of Warships. Today, got Taco again, but this time he's in the Conde. He's divisioned up with Krine also in a Conde, and Bump in the Delny. Let's get into this. So the Conde is the tier 11 or super ship for the French cruiser line. Comes after the Henry. Uh, she is armed with the same 240 millimeter guns as the Henry, but she's got three quad turrets. Uh, she's got access to your standard hydro, your engine booster heal, and your reload booster. But her special gimmick is right here. Burst fire. Which gives these, show, these guns better dispersion and better high explosive penetration. Because that makes sense. But you get two salvos with the burst fire, then you have a 44 second reload. Uh, so mainly, I, in my opinion, the burst fire is for uh, more of a parting shot where you're not going to be engaging things for a little bit, or you're trying to put something down really quick, like a destroyer, or you got an AP salvo into like a broadsided cruiser. So, the squad here is heading over towards the Alpha Cap. Uh, both teams have a tier 10 aircraft carrier. Uh, Taco's team has a Midway, the enemy team has a Franklin Delano Roosevelt. And Taco is going to have a really nice game. There is the enemy Edgar, or at least one of them. That is the new Super Minotaur. Taco has launched a high explosive Salvo and hey, hit him with two shells, did 2200 damage. Something spammed high explosive at him. But missed. Taco tries again at shooting the Edgar and he misses. Looks like an enemy Ostergotland and a Smolensk are heading over towards the ACAP as well. Friendly Yoshi has decided he doesn't want to be over here and he is leaving. But Bump at least has the backup of Taco here and Crying. So. 
they should be able to do some good work here. Uh, as for Taco's build, he has a DPM-based build. It's not a lighthouse build, uh, but he is running the steering gears mod 2 and slot 5 instead of concealment. Uh, it seems that it, it works really well for him, having that extra bit of maneuverability when turning. So I think he knows what he's doing. There's the Smolensk, who's smoking up and spamming him with high explosive. You've got, I think that was the Iwami shooting armor piercing at him. Same thing with the enemy Yoshi. Looks like Bump has been spotted, probably by the Oster Gotland. Taco's getting the AP ready. Oh, yep, there's the Oster's torpedoes. And Bump, the Bump needs to get out of there. He's getting ripped apart by the Smolensk. There goes the Oster's torpedoes, and there are the Smolensk torpedoes. The Smolensk torpedoes are definitely not going to have the range. Enemy FDR gets first blood for detonating a friendly Pommer. Taco's still waiting. There's the Smolensk. I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if the 240mm armor piercing can overmatch a Smolensk, but it's still going to hurt if it hits. Yeah, three shell hits, 6,000 damage. That's. That's at least, you know, that's a sixth of the Smolensk's health. Taco switched back to high explosive, and I think Krine's opening up as well. As uh, Molesk manages to dodge those shells, he's still trying to put Bump down, but I don't think he's going to succeed. Taco activates his reload booster, trying to put some more damage to that Smolensk. That is still a dangerous cruiser, even in today's meta. Another 3,000. Another 2,200. And the Smolensk gets away. Taco takes a shot at the Mecklenburg. Doesn't appear to have gotten any luck with that. Taco shoots at the Grosseker first, the original tier 10 German battleship. It was replaced by the Prussian. But looks like the Kerr first got up to speed a bit quicker than Taco expected. And there goes the car first. Killed by Minotaur torpedoes. Apparently Minotaur is a confused destroyer. It, uh oh. Taco? I know that's a lolly boat. But I mean, if you're going to go clap them lolly boat cheeks, I'm going to have to call the FBI on you. Oh, this is not going to be pretty. Taco evades his reload booster. First Savo gets unlucky, the DD turns out of it. DD is running for his life. Taco gets another fire. I mean, Taco. Cruelty to the underage boats. It's not something to celebrate here, but well done. I apologize to all the sensitive souls in the crowd. I mean, seeing a little child like that just get absolutely smacked around is never easy to see. There is the Yoshi, gonna give a nice good broadside for Taco. This Kande AP is, is very hurtful. I have been on the receiving end, it's not fun. Yeah, you only got two shell heads, but one of them was a Citadel. He's not going to get the shells off on the uh, Edgar, so he's just going to go rush the cap. And trust me, if you find this on your flank, you are not going to have a good time. Hello, Edgar. 39, 40,000 health. No health. Taco said bye-bye. <laughs> just one shot him. Next up is the Wami. Take
takes a decent hit, but deals a bigger hit in return. Doc go ahead and launches his torpedoes directly at the Iwami. But the Iwami is turning out. So those torpedoes are gonna miss. It's alright. Just get the torpedoes on the other side. Does a 10k hit, but he's taking a lot of damage in return from the Iwami. But torpedoes get the kill and earn his division the general offensive. Uh, for those of you who might not be aware, the general offensive achievement is for getting three kills of different ship types for a division. And Taco's done it single-handedly. Looking at the Hindenburg, looking to get some high explosive on target. Gets a double fire on that Hindenburg. Nice shot, Taco. I didn't get enough lead on the Hindenburg that time, and the Hindenburg's going to go down before the shells get there. Another kill for the Minotaur. He has been radared. That's got to be the Edgar. That is the only thing left on the enemy team that would have radar. Granted, they didn't have many ships that had radar to begin with. Firing some high explosive at the Iowa. And he gets a fire on the Iowa. That's always nice. There's the Edgar. I think Taco oh, Taco sees the enemy carrier. The FDR got spotted. Uh, Taco, you know the stereotype about French, right? You're supposed to be running away, not into the enemy. Oh god, another Edgar. Oh! I think that was a bigger hit than the one he one-shot. And there goes the Edgar. He's taking a lot of AP from the Yoshi, and I think the Smolensk is in there too. Taco triggers his heal. He's looking for a shot that's Smolensk because he'll sit it out the Smolensk pretty easily. Ricochets off the Yoshi. Smolensk is pulling back forward. Is rewarded with a Citadel. 8,000 damage. There's another two Citadels, so there's 15,000 damage. And there's the Kraken Unleashed for killing the Smolensk. Launches torpedoes at the Yoshi. Confirms that the torpedoes are indeed on target. Switches to alternate firing mode, because he's not expecting to live for very long. And unleashes on the enemy Franklin Delano Roosevelt. Big, big hits. Jeez. That FDR was at full HP before that salvo, and there's... That was a great hit by Crying right there. I think he might have citadeled that Iowa. Or just did a sheer amount of armor-piercing damage. And there goes Taco. But, I mean, I'm sure you all can agree that he definitely carried his weight. 28 citadels in a Conde. I mean, if I got 28 citadels in a Minotaur, that meant it was a great game. For some with these 240 millimeter guns, Crying is sailing after the Iowa, who's also being shelled by our good friend Bump. It appears, based on the trajectory of those high explosive shells. Crying firing armor piercing into the back of the Iowa, using his DFAA on the enemy FDR's aircraft. outran the bombers. Crying wants to finish off the carrier. 
And he does. There's the coordinated attack achievement for that. Good job, Crying. And all that's left is to finish off that Iowa. Grind goes ahead and launches torpedoes at the Iowa, but I don't think the Iowa's long for this world. I don't think they're going to make it. Nice hit by Krine right there, but here comes the Midway, and Midway's probably going to finish off that Iowa. So in all, great battle there, Taco. Definitely up there in terms of damage. Everyone, 